Okay, uh, you guys have been on tour for about a week now. How's it been so far? It's been awesome. We actually uh, we played a few shows on the way out with the Perfect Birth to meet the package, and uh, those shows were killer too. So it's been awesome, man. And um, this has been like the best lineup so far that I've seen you guys with. Uh -huh. And uh, how, do you, how have you guys been getting along with the band so far? Great, you know, and we we've known. Um, Origin and the Crib of Earth for years. Uh, we never really toured together, which is weird because we always played shows together and we well, we never toured together, so it was cool to finally do it and just, you know, like, hey, we're finally touring together, yeah, you know. <laughs> and, um, let's see, yeah, Monolith of Inhumanity comes out in a couple weeks. I've already heard it's, it seems like the heaviest stuff I've heard so far from you guys. Wow, no, thank you. And, um, can you tell me about the writing process? Or yeah. how um, well, the writing process with us is pretty much every you know we're a four piece, so I, at the end of the day, it, it comes out to be about twenty five each, as far as like input. You know, Travis is all the vocals, all the all the lyrics, all the conceptual stuff. So he does his part with that, and then. Uh, we show up to the jam room and you know, I'll have a riff and show the guys they'll have a riff and show me and we all kind of try to put together this puzzle and we'll draw it out on a board and just kind of that way at least you're looking at what you're working with and you don't forget parts and um, we'll play it a million times and arrange it a million times and I don't know to me it feels like the creative process really never ends mm -hmm. and it just yeah, you have to just kind of like settle with what feels the best that you can do at that moment. Otherwise, you just never end writing, you know? So that's usually how we write, yeah. Right. And uh, like usual, the artwork on the CD is pretty gruesome. Yeah. Uh, who's responsible for uh, creating that? That would be Wes Benscoder, who's done like every single record of ours. Mm -hmm. He's a madman. Um, Travis uh, and Wes Benscoder usually put it together. You know, Travis will give them the, the concept the idea. And Wes will put together a rough sketch or something like that and go back and forward and but he he's amazing, you know, he's responsible for our covers looking really good every time. So we're really happy about that. Yeah. Let's see here. Um, let's see, you, you guys have been on Metal Blade for going on ten years. Uh, do they do anything for you guys that you think other labels wouldn't be able to? Or? You know, um, considering that the, the way the industry is right now, it's kind of hard to tell, you know. Depends what kind of tier band you are, you know, that kind of stuff. I, I think they do their fair share. Uh, they've been good to us all throughout the years, you know, and, and we've been good to them too. I think it's just like a two-way thing, you know. It's kind of hard to know if it would be better in another way or something because we have we have history and seniority with them. Mm -hmm. So going into a new label, you're starting a new relationship, and sometimes you don't know how things are going to go. But at the end of the day, I think we're all content with what we have. Yeah. Let's see. Um, as vegetarians, a whole band of vegetarians, what have you guys indulged in so far on the well, tour? Travis and Josh are the only two vegetarians in the band right now. Um, but uh, the theme, lyrically, you know, the, the concept of the band will always be coming from the mind of a vegetarian. We all do agree and we all do have the same mentality towards the same, you know, sentiments as far as like the way humanity is, and, you know, and animal rights. Just uh, the, you know, the way they're mistreated. And we all we all agree with that. You know, just me and Derek uh, have a different diet, but we're very f aware of everything. You know, we're just not guys playing music in a band that's singing about something that we don't identify with. You know, so we're 100 percent there, and, and I'm I'm actually really happy to be in a band that that sings about that stuff. You know, because a lot of band, a lot of metal bands usually sing about the usual monsters and zombies and aliens and shit and that's great you know that's because at the end of the day it's about the music you know but it just feels nice to to be playing music that has an actual 
meaning behind it that it's that's that's good, you know, that that I like. So. Well, let's see. Um, what are your what are your expectations tonight for uh, crowd wise? Um, well, so far it looks pretty good in there, and it's early. Yeah. And my family lives here in the Chicago area. Oh, that's nice. And a lot of them are going to be coming out. So <laughs> we're going to be a bunch of rowdy people. But uh, it looks great in there. So I I think it's going to be a great turnout. There. Yeah. Is there any bands that you guys want to tour with that you haven't toured with yet? That's kind of, t I mean, I'm a huge Dying Fetus fan, so I would love to tour with them. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Because I would just be rocking out Add every Misery night Index and Exhumed, and I'm so sad. <laughs> I would just every night be just rocking out to Dying Fetus. But Origin and the Crabby Birth are also two of my favorite bands. So it's nice to, to get to hear favorite songs, you know, a couple of your favorite songs every night, you know. Yeah, they always put on a good show. Oh yeah, dude, and like every time... My song comes up, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, that's my song. <laughs> so that's that's a treat in itself, you know, and, and aborted, kill it every night, you know, uh, Rings of Saturn, kill it every night, uh, Battlecross, and um, the other bands that have been touring with us that are doing like different parts of the tour have all been great, so it's just been a really good vibe all around. It's been great. Okay, and uh, last words of yours, anything you want to say to fans or? Um, I was gonna say keep coming out to shows, you know, like YouTube is badass and you can see footage of shows there and shit, but like come out to shows and experience the, the real thing, you know, live. It's it's a good experience and I don't know, like if I'm not touring or whatever, I love to go to shows and just see bands play, so just keep doing that and that way we can keep doing our thing too. So. Thank you. Yeah. Cool.